Hello, my name is Scott Putnam. I am one of Idaho Fishing Games biologists who studies wild Chinook salmon and steelhead trout populations in Idaho. People often ask us how we monitor these wild fishes in Idaho, especially since many of them spawn and rear in remote locations. One method to monitor natural reared Chinook salmon and steelhead trout is to use standardized snorkel survey protocols to collect juvenile salmonid data in their home streams. The data collected each year is used to track long-term trends in wild fish abundance. These trends help fisheries managers detect increases or declines in wild fish populations. The information can then be used to prioritize management efforts such as initiating habitat improvement projects. Besides Idaho Department of Fish and Game, the Nez Perce Tribe, U.S. Forest Service, and others use this data for their projects. Four regionally based Idaho Department of Fish and Game crews conduct wild salmonid surveys each year during June, July, and August. Crews must learn how to identify salmon, steelhead trout, and other fishes, collect and record data, conform to standardized snorkel survey protocols, and perform all their duties safely. This is accomplished during an eight-day training session near Lewiston each spring. Snorkelers learn to correctly identify the different species and estimate their length underwater by using laminated fish images attached to weighted rods. These are known as fish sticks. Accuracy comes with time and practice. The primary objective of this training is to achieve accuracy within and consistency across the four crews. Complete and accurate data are necessary to make informed management decisions. Lessons are taught by experienced crew leaders. It's like you guys got non-salmonid fish next. That's the dace, shiner, sucker. Once crews reach a snorkel transect, they follow standardized snorkel survey protocols. They typically belly crawl 50 to 100 yards upstream against strong currents, over and around rocks, and in bone chilling water to collect fish data. Smaller streams can be surveyed by a single or a pair of snorkelers. On large streams, snorkelers space out evenly from shore to shore and work slowly upstream. Each snorkeler is responsible for counting fish in their lane while also trying to remain in line with the adjacent snorkeler. The crews also collect physical data about the transect and habitat for each site. Because crews regularly work in rugged backcountry locations, they receive first aid and CPR training. They also learn how to contend with challenges they may experience in swift water environments. The crews practice hard moves such as river crossings in easy water. With the knowledge gained during this training session about fish identification, data collection, standardized snorkel survey protocols, and safety, crews are prepared to snorkel survey streams throughout central Idaho. Ultimately, they will provide supporting data so fisheries managers can make informed decisions to benefit wild chinook salmon and steelhead trout.